What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I gotta just disprove something that so many of you artists have convinced yourself to be true or believed all this foolishness that other people are saying, and that is the fact that you can't be a YouTube star, comedian, skit maker, actor, all these other types of things before you can be a musician, before you can blow as an artist. It's just not true, people. Let me put this out here plain and clear. Not only do we have people like Queen Nigel who recently, who was a YouTuber and blew up with her song Medicine. I did a video on her, dropped it just recently. There's also so many other examples right here. Let's just look at the fact that Drake was a TV star before he blew up as an artist, long before he blew up as an artist on the grassy. You have people like Will Smith who was a rapper, actor, then movie star. By the time that he was a movie star and Next Generation came, a lot of people didn't even know that he was a, a rapper first. They got introduced to him as a rapper first. Look at Donald Glover. Donald Glover was a skit writer. Then he was a screenwriter for TV. Then he was a comedian. Then he was an artist that blew up. And not only was he a rapper, then he became a singer. All of these things are possible. There's so many examples of people doing one thing before the other and then changing careers completely and rebranding. I can't tell you how many people that I might discover and say, hey dad, you know that guy from such and such? And then he'll be like, you mean that person that was a singer back in the day or this person who was an actor back in the day, but I know them for something completely different than what they used to be or what they blew up as. It's all about getting attention at first. The only thing that's preventing your music for not blowing up if you already have a big platform, like a big YouTube following, big Instagram following, is two things. One, your music is just not good enough. Two, your music is good enough, but you don't have the ability to make enough people hear your music. And I'm not just talking about your YouTube following who might be following you largely for one thing, but then a decent proportion of them actually listen to the music. I mean to spread that music for real, for real, beyond that following. Now, if your song is strong enough, those people should organically spread it. When we even look at people who get record deals, those record deals usually allow people to easily spread their music past their own social following. It's honestly not that complicated. Again and again and again, I can show you a billion examples of just people who have one career, then they get another career. People who didn't start off as um, rappers or musicians and then they got other careers and vice versa. Do not let people convince you that you should not start a YouTube page or an Instagram page as a part of your brand to blow up unless you just don't think that fits into the brand of who you want to be that just isn't your personality. That makes sense. It's all cool, it's all good if it just doesn't make sense for your particular path. But if you got the talent to and you are actually willing to, why not do it? It's gonna give you an unbelievable control of your audience and your own platform. It becomes your own media platform to market yourself again and again and again and it might get you to the money a little bit quicker than it would take for a lot of artists to get something sustainable. Those are just my two cents. Please keep that in mind. Other than that, I would love to know you guys' comments, your thoughts. Go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.